Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can connect your Xamarin application to your physical uh, mobile device or Android device using a USB port. As you can see on the right hand side, I've got a physical phone, right? Uh, right now it's not connected to any USB. Uh, the USB has not just been disconnected. And on the left hand side, I do have a, a Xamarin application. So once you connect and do a proper connection, you will see uh, Xamarin, uh, sorry, the Samsung phone or any of your Android phone uh, option being selected here. So let me demonstrate to you how you can get started with this. First and foremost of all, of course, you're going to have to install a USB driver by Tools, Android, and SDK Manager here. So once the pop-up comes up, I'm going to slide this window here. Uh, go to Tools and make sure that under Extra, your Google USB driver is installed. After installing this driver, you will have to close and restart your studio. Once you bring your studio up, um, the next thing you're going to have to do would be to uh, make your phone, your Android phone, uh, compatible for development. So the way to do it would be to go to Settings and you have to click some things in the settings here. I've got another video to demonstrate that. I'll leave the link below. But once you get it, once you get that set up, your phone set up to be a developer mode. If you scroll all the way down, you can see a developer option will be available right here at the bottom here. So you click on this guy here, developer options, and that's when you know that your phone is developer options available. So the next thing you're gonna have to do is to connect a USB cable uh, to your Android phone. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the USB cable here. Just like that and as soon as you connect to it uh, a USB debugging message will come up right so let's say I'm gonna click, click cancel for now for some reason if you don't get that pop-up you can scroll all the way down and you can toggle your USB debugging here right here so I'm gonna go off and go on again and that is say allow USB debugging click OK and then you'll come up another uh, pop-up window saying that do you want to allow this computer with this fingerprint and say allow so once you allow uh, go back to your studio here and go to the pull down and this time around you can see your phone mine is a samsung phone so i'm going to click this guy here and then go ahead and hit play on this one here so what it does right now is it's compiling and uploading uh, the apk file or a compile file to the android phone Right, so you can see the application is running. I'm going to go ahead and stop the application and come back in here. So for some reason, if you still don't see this after connecting your USB and you're not prompted with your with your, with your uh, uh, authorization, you can go ahead and toggle it, if like I demonstrated just now, and this will actually rejuvenate or restart your ADB server. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cancel uh, and simulate. I say over here one more thing I guess if you say allow debug USB debugging if you say cancel you see that the USB debugging will be turned off right there so I'm gonna do this here and click OK uh, I'll show you another way to debug uh, uh, your USB connection like for instance right now right so looks like uh, looks like there was no uh, question being asked about the security authorization and if you go to your studio you don't see it right so the one way if you don't if you get this right go ahead and toggle again say okay here and then the second window say allow but now i'm going to just say cancel just to simulate uh authorization is not given so if this is not given this way the second way to debug would be to use the adb tool itself the location of adb tool is relatively simple is a location where your sdk file is installed if you don't know where it's installed go to tools options and if you go to xamarin this uh, main tree itself this is where your sdk android sdk is installed i'm going to copy it right and and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to open a command prompt uh, it doesn't have to be administrator though just a regular command prompt and then in here you go to the location where the android sdk is and then you're going to have to open another directory called platform tools 
and this is where uh, that particular ADK file is. So if you dir a b adb dot asterisk, you can see an executable file is available, All right? So that's the file you're gonna run. So if you want to see what devices are attached to your uh, computer here, what Android devices is attached to your computer, what you do is that you type de sorry adb devices. It'll give you a list of all the devices that's attached to your computer. Right now, I've only got one uh, device attached, and it's unauthorized. That's why um, I can't really, I can't really see uh, Samsung in here. That's the reason why, right? So, um, so if I were to disconnect this USB cable, now it's disconnected, right? And if I were to go ahead and run the devices, you'll see there's no device attached to the computer. I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect the device again back in here. Now it's connected here. So you can see it's asking me, do you want to allow that or not, right? So of course, when I hit allow, uh, the uh, the studio will be able to pick it up. So I'm just going to click cancel here for now. And then see devices here, right? So I'm just going to toggle here again one more time and do a proper authorize. And I'll show you what it looks like. Say allow. And if I go here and hit devices, you can see this is what it looks like if the device is attached and authorized. And of course, if you go to your studio here, you can see Samsung now, right? Okay, that's one way to do it. And for some reason, if you is uh, grossly unable to get devices here and saying on unauthorized and you can't see your Samsung or your Android device in here what you can do is you can restart that service the ADB service so to, to restart the ADB service is ADB kill server that's the command to the issue click enter nothing will come up in here but if you look at your phone uh, the USB uh, configuration is uh, connection is restarted and asking do you want to authorize it right so if you allow now you can if you go back to your adb server on your command prompt hit devices you can see that device is now authorized and in here samsung is available again so and for another thing i want to say is that uh, in here if you kill the server here and for some reason you don't get this command in here uh, mainly because the adb server is not running anymore you can actually uh, manually start the server by typing adb start server just like that that will start your adb server and you will probably be prompted with allow usb debugging uh, this is uh, uh 2019 uh, uh, studios so the adb kill server starts by itself right so and if i can cancel here if i go in here you can see devices unauthorized so if i were to restart the adb server and they will prompt me again you say allow now and you go devices here in a few minutes or a few seconds you can see the device attached to it and you can start debugging again and you run the uh, run the xamarin application you can see that the uh, the android is actually running the application here so that's a a very uh, high level a quick way to show you how you can uh, set up and connect i know the video went a bit too long i hope it's helpful if it does please subscribe and like other than that have a good day bye now